Hey everybody, uh, welcome back, it's Ramona. It is Saturday, August the 26th. I'm in Houston, just kind of riding out the storm, I know everybody knows about uh, Hurricane Harvey now. So uh, the storm hit in Corpus last night, they got hit really hard, and so Houston, so far isn't doing too bad on the north side of town. I've seen on the news that they've got some flooding over there, it rained more I think on the north side. I'm on the southwest side of town. It rained off and on through the night. It hasn't rained too much hardly at all today. But we, if you can believe the weathermen, um, or the people, excuse me, um, Houston is slated to get hit with rain, like the tail end of the hurricane rain, starting probably tomorrow for the next several days. So I'm kind of hunkered down. I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything uh, because I'm on the disaster relief team at work. I can't even have a glass of wine or anything. Um, so just about 12 o'clock noon today on Saturday, they called in the A team to go in. And then I guess once the A team, originally I was on the A team and I would have gone as well. Um, and I would have been the charge nurse, but the other charge nurse on B team, wanted to switch with me because she has plans next weekend and she was concerned that if she didn't get called in until later in the week that might mess up her um her weekend plan so she so she went in today so now i'm on the b team so i'll go in and charge when the, when we get called in and the, the a team will go home hopefully they'll get home anyway that has nothing to do with wax sorry about that so here we are it's wax and um Oh, so yeah, so everything I've, you know, that's my patio chairs from outside. There's a few more over there. The blinds are down. That's my pillow just waiting when I get called in. I have my bags packed. I have all kinds of like highly processed and bad for you foods like Pop-Tarts and microwavable craft dinner and shit like that. But that's what you eat in a hurricane. So anyway, um... So anyway, I'm doing a wax empties today. The whole point of that is because I, I'm so bored. I have nothing to do. I'm still in my pajamas. I've showered, yes, but I'm just waiting for the shit to hit the fan. So I'm going to do my empties today instead of tomorrow. So there you have it. Okay, so let's get started. This uh, is Root Candle Blue Basil. This, you can see, I can even still smell the basil. It did have a little smudge, which I'm not used to from, you know, burning Bath and Body Work candles. Um, uh, but it was good. I can still smell it, and these glasses are super, super nice. Uh, so I will be cleaning this out to drink because they're really, really nice. And also from Root Candle is Mountain Larkspur. This was kind of a fresh, woodsy scent. Pretty much gone now. I can't too smell too much of anything. Uh, it was a little light on the throw, but it was good. Um, uh, no soot, but it had some smudge, so also I'll be cleaning that one out as well. So I'm gonna put that over there. And then I went through a pumpkin vanilla marshmallow. Practically no scent. Scentless candles. That's what they need to advertise them as. Scentless candles. And why do we keep buying them? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, this was Case Creations Black Rose. This was brittle. Um, I liked it and I had good throw with it. Um, it was kind of a rose, but there was like a maybe a potpourri or something in the root that make it... Like it was rose slash something else. I can't remember what the black part of it was, but it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, it did well uh, in my bedroom. I know I gifted some to Canada Kim and she didn't uh, care for it so much. It didn't throw well, but again, I think she has quite a large space. So maybe that was the issue. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to put that aside because that's going to be my Wednesday Wax favorites. Oh, I have leftovers. Oh, okay. This is uh, Caterpillar Mischief from The Bathing Garden. And I tried to get through, uh, do a Bathing Garden box this week, and I did pretty good. I got some of them done. Apricot and lemon jam, caramel cake bites, and coconut vanilla cream. Mo, well, I smell cake. And a little bit of raspberry. I did not smell much coconut. But it's good, so I'm going to finish that one off, put that there. This one is complicated. This one is really good. You know, um, I've said it before, I change up my wax at least once, sometimes twice a day, depending on if it's throwing, my mood, if I like the scent, you know, whatever. But this I kept in for a full two days because it just would not quit. It just would not quit. Complicated. Caramel coffee is layered under a... I'm talking... Okay. Caramel coffee is layered under a blend of coconut, vanilla, chocolate, and crushed pretzels. And right there, there was a wax pretzel which got melted. Mmm, 
it's a very strong coffee scent. If you like coffee scents, this is the scent for you. It's compli complicated and it's really, really good. Um, so I'm gonna finish that off this week. Uh, I went through a Scentsy Aloha Citrus, Tangerine, Jade Blossom, and Vetiver. Mostly a citrus scent. It was good. It was a little bit light, but it was good. Uh, also from Scentsy was Citrus Pop. This was really good. Um, just like a citrus and a mm, fizzy note. I can still smell it. Citrus Pop was really good. If you like citrus and fizzy pop, you will like that one. That one was really good. And until August 31st, uh, there's 10% off of uh, Scentsy on everything on the site. And then after that... I believe the bars are going up to $6, so that's pretty pricey for a bar. It is slightly bigger than a Better Homes and Gardens. This one is 3.2 ounces. Better Homes and Gardens is 2.5, I believe, but still, $6 for a bar of wax is eh. I have stocked up. I've got some of my favorites there, so I think I'll be good for a while, but, you know, whatever. Uh, Bunny Whiskers by The Bathing Garden. Candy Cherries, Confectioner Sugar, Marshmallow, and Tonka Bean. Yeah, this was mainly just the cherry scent. Uh, and I'm not really one for... I love to eat fresh cherries, but other than that, like the smell of candy cherries or cherry essence, I don't really care for. It smells kind of like... Um, Almond extract to me, I, I, I know there's some connection between cherries and almonds there. Don't ask me what it is right now, but, and so I don't care for almond extract either. But um, if you do like cherries and almond scents, that's a really good one. And, um, you know, I, all of these, the bathing garden, they all throw really, really well. I've not had problem with any, trouble with any of them. Knave of Hearts, Fresh Picked Strawberry, Seven Layer Cake, Brown Sugar Crystals, and Coconut Flakes. And this one was coconut. I smell mostly coconut on this one. Um, and again, it was good, I liked it. And the last one is Cheshire Cat. Um, lemon meringue is topped with vanilla raspberry icing. And I think, I get a light lemon scent from this. Not too much raspberry. Um, so that's it. Uh, I'm just hunkered down, waiting for the call to go to work. Hopefully, by the time the tail of the hurricane reaches Houston, we're kind of hoping that it will have died down a little bit. As of now, I think the category is down to category one hurricane anyway. And as it, as usually as they proceed inland, they lose some steam. So we're hoping that's the case with this one as well. So I'm here in Houston, hunkered down. I hope everybody is happy and safe and dry, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.